LCL filters are essential components in grid connected inverters designed to eliminate high frequency harmonics found in grid currents. We have previously created videos covering the design of LCL filters, MATLAB simulations for both three phase and single phase grid connected inverters. However, in those videos, I did not address a crucial parameter related to the LCL filter, resonance and damping. In this video, I will discuss why LCL filters exhibit resonance and explore effective methods to dampen these resonances. So let's begin. The transfer function of an LCL filter represents the ratio between the grid current and the inverter voltage in the Laplace domain. And it is expressed as 1 by S cube L1 L2 C plus S into L1 plus L2, where S is the Laplace variable, L1 and L2 are inductances, and C is the capacitance. And the resonant frequency is expressed as root of L1 plus L2, divided by L1, L2 C. Now, let's consider the values of L1, L2, and C for a specific design. Assume that L1 equals 3.6 millihenries, L2 equals 1 millihenry, and C equals 4.7 microfarads. If we substitute these values into the resonant frequency equation, the resulting resonant frequency is 16488.4 radians per second or 2624.37 Hz. Now let's go to the math lab and create the board plot of the transfer function using these values for the inductors and capacitor. First enter the values of inductors and capacitor. Now define the transfer function for the LCL filter. Now write the comment to draw the board plot. This represents the board plot for the LCL filter. Upon examining the plot, it becomes evident that the magnitude of the grid current is notably high at a specific frequency, precisely matching the resonant frequency we calculated earlier. This phenomenon is attributed to the resonance characteristic of the LCL filter. At this particular frequency, the impedance imposed by the filter on the grid current is minimal, leading to a substantial increase in the magnitude of the grid current. Resonance can significantly impact the performance of grid-connected inverters in two primary ways. The first is through distortion in the grid current. The existence of high-frequency components in the grid current leads to pronounced distortion, resulting in elevated total harmonic distortion that may fail to meet the specified IEEE standards. The second effect involves an unstable grid current, where the current values can surge to very high levels, causing the current controller to struggle in effectively regulating the grid current. This situation may trigger fault detection in the inverter or, in more severe cases, lead to the failure of components. Now, addressing these two crucial issues brings forth the significance of damping. Damping ensures the prevention of the aforementioned problems in the event of sudden voltage or frequency variations in the grid voltage, or when there are changes in the grid impedance. The concept behind the damping mechanism is to diminish the magnitude of the grid current at the resonant frequency. Introducing damping into the system causes a modification in the LCL filter board plot, as depicted in this figure. Damping methods are primarily classified into two categories, passive damping and active damping. In passive damping, elements like resistors, inductors, and capacitors are integrated into the existing LCL filter in various configurations. There are primarily three ways to configure the passive damping. The first one is a purely resistive damping scheme, involving the connection of a resistor in series with the capacitor. The second is the split capacitor resistive damping scheme, where an RC network is connected across the filter capacitor. The third method is the split capacitor resistive inductive damping, where an RLC network is connected across the capacitor. Passive damping is the most widely used method for ensuring the stability of LCL filter-based grid-connected inverters. The implementation method is straightforward, but it introduces losses, impacting the system's efficiency. However, if the switching and sampling frequencies are sufficiently high, these damping losses can be minimized. Due to the additional losses incurred by passive damping, active damping becomes a viable option for the system. Similar to passive damping, active damping also adjusts impedance, not physically but through virtual means. To achieve this, the control structure needs modification, and this approach is generally referred to as the virtual resistance damping method. 
Here we sense the current of the filter capacitor, multiply it by a constant, and then subtract the resulting value from the output of the current controller before generating the PWM signals. When we implement this, the controller limits the bandwidth of the current controller. This prevents the PWM converter from exciting the resonance of the LCL filter. This approach is equivalent to placing a resistor in series with the capacitor, resulting in similar performance without any additional loss in components. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to intentionally excite resonance in an LCL filter and subsequently dampen the oscillations in grid current using MATLAB. This concludes the current presentation. Thank you for watching.